Okay, here we go. Modern Warfare 2. As a proud owner of a PlayStation 5, I got to get onto this quite early. The Open Data. So I just thought I'd have a little look at it, give it a review, start with the game because gameplay is king. I've got the M4 with a laser on it and a, some sort of optic. 60 rounds. Um, yeah, I'm not really a. Oh my god. Not really a Call of Duty player, as you can see. Not very good at it. Never have been. But nevertheless, here we are, giving it a go. Might as well. Who, who got that? Oh, right. They're going to flank me around here, aren't they? Told you. Securing journey. The enemy holds all objectives. Secure those positions. We are taking trouble. We are taking trouble. Okay, over. I'm in trouble here. He's going to shoot me from up here. Oh, look, graphics are lovely, aren't they? Let's get the shit out of me, mate. Here. Graphics are lovely. So much better than previous Call of Duty's, and um, they're actually starting to compete a bit better with other offerings on the market. I suppose there was somebody up here, or was he the guy who jumped onto there? Yeah, they was graphics got so much better on on card. The footsteps on this game are so loud. So loud. All you can hear all the time is footsteps. Oh no. In terms of the guns, like this is nowhere near my first round. I've played it played a few rounds already, so I know. Um they feel nice. Like the haptic feedback and the controller and the sound and the just feels nice and crispy and oh, it just just feels good. In terms of the way they actually work, not quite as good to be honest. I always find that I feel like I'm dumping a load of rounds in someone. Oh no. So unless you're up really close, like next to him, like that guy was there. It feels like. Oh. Yeah, it just feels like they don't die very quickly. It feels like you have to really shoot. Like he shot me three times with a shotgun there from range. And it... But that felt quite slow. Okay. Moving. Okay, package is good. So yeah, I don't know. The, the gunplay feels weird. Like it, it feels nice with with actually shooting the weapons in terms of actually killing people. I don't know. I, it might be because I'm not used to cars, but it feels bizarre to me. Uh, I don't know what is a precision airstrike. What, what, what do you? Can I just whack it there? I don't really know how the kill streaks work. Thanks. I heard some. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying it. It's made a nice break for Battlefield. I've been really enjoying it, but I don't know if it'll be a long term thing. I guess the problem with not being very good at Call of Duty is that 
I get frustrated. Also, I've had quite a good round here. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm not sure this is a very good lobby to I'm not sure these lads are very good. I don't know about skill-based matchmaking. I haven't, I haven't been able to work it out yet if, it, if it's there or if it's not. It's only the beta, isn't it? So it's hard to tell. Oh, shh. Oh, I've got another care package. Oh, I messed that up. I thought I it. Right. Please don't land up there. Requesting recon flyover. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. Please don't land up there. Ah, oh, it's okay. Objective Alpha is compromised. SAE standing by. Okay, I say. I don't even know what that means, but. Securing Charlie. Enemy is okay. taking Bravo. Target marked. Request fire. Don't really know what I'm doing there, but. We are taking Charlie. The kill streaks are the same, like they haven't really updated that. Oh, that level of the shot is up all over me. Mm, did not see that at all. The weapon progression system is really weird. So, essentially, you have your receiver, which is your weapon, and then you can have any attachment you like on the map. How do I survive that? Textbook. Textbook. Use of the uh, flashbang. Oh, see, you always know. No more slide cancelling. Forgot about that. You can't. You can't slide cancel anymore. You can just just normally slide. And if you hold down prone, you do a bit of dog slide, like it's old school battlefield. Okay. Oh. You gonna peek it? No. Okay. Oh, bloody shotgun. Yeah, the, the movement is a bit different. To, I think it's better. I wasn't a fan. A fan. Flan? I wasn't a fan of all the uh, the slide cancelling and stuff. Was that an enemy? I'm pretty sure it was. Just run straight past me. Oh, the precision airstrike is going to come, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's. Um, if the, the, the movement feels a lot more like realistic, a lot more. A lot more tactical. But you have to appropriately use cover, and which I'm not very good at, as you can see. But it's better than like Vanguard and Cold War, and even Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare, where everyone's just sliding around corners. Our UAV is orbiting the area. What's your rock? Hit marker. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, he's behind me. Ah. I played like a battlefield player there. It's the progression system. The way the gunsmith works. Essentially, you got your receiver. And then, in addition to that. You just change your, uh, your attachment. So in the gunsmith, you can basically build any gun you like, which is pretty cool, but very confusing. 
Oh, we lost. Okay. I'll show you the, the progression thing. It's really bizarre. Come on. Let's do it. God, that shot is going to be overpowered, isn't it? <laughs> Fair play. That was pretty cool. So I went 20 and 12 there. Seven captures. I, I much prefer domination to anything else. Maybe it's the battlefield player in me. Have I just been disconnected? No, it's okay. So the weapon system is really bizarre. So you can go to your gunsmith. So you see I've got, I've got these attachments on, using all five of my attachments. But you can change the receiver and all of a sudden you've got an M16. And then I think you can change the barrel and stick an M16 barrel on it. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe I made that up. Um, it's really confusing. And a progression, in order to unlock weapons, there's like a weapon tree system. So in order to unlock the M16, I had to level up the M4 and then the 5.56 Icarus and then get the M16. And if I want to get the Ephesus Hurricane, I've got to do it through this this battle rifle, the FTAC recon. I, I don't really... I don't know if they've just been changing stuff for the sake of it, but I don't know. It just... It, it feels weird. It feels like a weird way of doing it. And the same with the perk packages. Um, whoops. I'm going to edit my perks. So you get two basic perks, and you earn these two dur during the round. I said about the footsteps, that, that there's no um, ninja perk, but there has been, so you have to move around loudly. The only thing you can do is equip dead silence as a... I, kind of thought, it, I thought it was one of these, but maybe not. <laughs> you, you have to equip dead silence and... Um, where is dead silence? It must be, must be one of these perks. And even then, you can only use it for a few seconds at a time. I don't even know where Dead Silence is, to be honest. Um, but that's a nightmare as well. I'm not sure that's a very good change that the perk packages. Everything else is largely the same. You know, it's a Call of Duty game. Everyone, everyone knows what what's going on. There's some new modes. I haven't really given them a go. Third person's not for me. I hate Search and Destroy. It's the worst thing ever. I hate I hate not being able to respawn. It doesn't. Uh, fit in with my run and gun technique really. Uh, prisoner rescue, I'll give it that a go, that's quite good fun, but again, no respawns, it's a bit, you have to spend a lot of time watching other people play, and set the same with knockout, no respawns, so I'm not so sure about the playlist, but that's because I'm not really a huge card fan, Much, prefer, I think at the moment I'm just playing Domination, yeah, not, not even Team Deathmatch, even that's a bit too, uh, a bit too much for me. Um, so, on the whole, I think it's pretty good. Like, nothing that... The gameplay is exactly like you'd expect. There's a bit more recoil, I guess, than Modern Warfare 2019. But it, it feels, in general, pretty good. So, I'm pretty happy with it. I probably am going to buy it, and I'll give it a go. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's worth a go. If you've got the opportunity to play the open beta before it comes out, definitely can get involved, because it's, it's good. And if it does well, then... I guess. Rest in peace, Battlefield 24v2. Um, anyway, thanks. if you're still here, thanks for being here. And, um, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye.